On the night of December 1st, police in Algeria started arresting West African migrants living in the capital. By the end of the week, they'd rounded up more than a thousand of them, including our observer Armando, an Ivorian who'd been working in Algiers for several years. Armando told us the officers arrived in the middle of the night. They told him to pack up his furniture and loaded him and his pregnant wife onto a bus. They took them to a camp near the capital. They spent the night in a tent. Many others slept outdoors. The next day, the police ordered the migrants onto buses again. Afraid they'd be deported, they put up a fight and several people were wounded. <laughs> Armando and his wife managed to escape and are now in hiding. A union leader who works with migrants told us the arrests were unjustified. The arrests amount to racial profiling. Only people with black skin were targeted. The arrests were arbitrary. People who were in Algeria legally were picked up too. People with valid passports and visas. There were also refugees who were arrested, asylum seekers with UN papers and children and pregnant mothers. The migrants were then taken to the city of Taman Raset, deep in the Sahara Desert. We don't have much information about what happened after that. There are no NGOs active in Taman Raset, no activists either, and there are hardly any journalists. The Roundup is a violation of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. Article 13 specifically bans collective expulsion. And Algerian law doesn't allow for collective or mass expulsions either.